Got to pick up, pick Yo, up. Um, on yeah, it. Coach Vernon had my mom call me that one time, and he kind of took around with it. Oh, okay. But that's like really my immediate family. Good. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. What, what was it like watching your brother play uh, play really in the swamp the other night? No, nah, it was an amazing feeling, man. It's just uh, just, just just seeing the development, seeing him grow. Like growing up with him, uh, he was a fat kid, so like I never thought he'd be playing running back for the uh, Gators, and uh, just to see it just happen and see how good he is and uh, how much his work he put in on the, his off time. So I was just really excited to see his development throughout the year, man. It was just very exciting. Proud older brother moment. Nah, definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Like I feel like. It was just so surreal just seeing him. And uh, then he, he did great. He got the ball. Like, it's just like, he's so much faster than I, I, I thought, I anticipated. And uh, he's going to do great things. He faster than you? I, I, I'm, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. But he does look really quick. Like, he's been working on it. And uh, he definitely got the speed. We, came, we come from the same place. So he's just as quick as not quicker. He jumped on it. But did you give him any grief about the, uh, the losing the football there? Uh, he tweeted about it. <laughs> no. So, so, so he already knew what it was when he got home. Uh, we, we always had that rule about fumbling, uh, but you see him, he, 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 he lost the ball and I feel like he went dead for it, so he already knew what it was and uh, he's going to learn from it and continue to grow. I feel like he just got so excited when he just seen it open up and seeing the, the end zone. He wasn't thinking about fundamentals or anything. Uh, you got any extra nerves for your first regular season game? Uh, honestly, no. Uh, I feel like I've been here a long time working to get to this point. I feel like why well, be nervous now? I mean, I put all the work in, so just trust my preparation. And uh, y'all see us here every day, so I mean, like, I feel like it's gonna just be natural now. Just let it happen. Does this kind of feel like the end of the road? I mean, you finally get to this point. You kind of had the injury, it delayed it. You had to go through all the rehab. Does this kind of feel like, all right, I finally, I finally got here? Uh, it, it feels like the beginning. I feel like I'm uh, just getting my career started, and I feel like just something I've been one my whole life, uh, definitely like just uh, going by the Clemson for my, my fourth year. I felt like I delayed it then, didn't get injured, I delayed it again. So I just like, damn, man, I just, I just wanted that moment for so long and I just had to keep waiting and I was finally here. And now I just can't wait to go out there and just be myself. Not to be negative, what was the lowest point in the last year for you? And what has been the highest point or is that yet to come for you? Uh, lowest point? Uh, I would say getting injured. That was I mean, uh, I, I definitely didn't see that. You, but you since that, the injury, I meant, like you know, in the rehab and everything, has there been, you know, or do I mean, you uh, go there? You just want to I mean, I mean, I feel like uh, during my time being injured, I didn't, um, I didn't kind of get down on myself. I feel like yeah. if I would have got down on myself, then it would have been hard to get up out of that rut and have people around me that I love. So they didn't let me get to that place. So I would say the injury definitely was the, the bottom, and there's only one way up from there. I couldn't even walk. So like, how can I go down from there? So. Uh, just getting back, and now I feel like Monday is going to be the highest. Just, um, just being able to just be on the field with my guys again, and uh, be able to help them win the game. Were you more nervous, Travis, watching your brother in Gainesville, or watching the Clemson game Monday night? Uh, definitely watching my little brother, because like it, it, it's nerves there. I feel like I feel like I was watching myself on the field, honestly, and uh, I can't do anything about it. So, but I definitely was nervous watching him. But Clemson. We got a lot of work to do, but uh, it's the beginning of the season, and uh, I feel like Dabo has a great culture in place, and uh, we're going to continue to get better. And uh, we've seen great things from the offense, and you've seen the defense. They look really great, as they always do, and uh, I'm be excited to watch them throughout the whole year. I know you were very excited about your first trip to the Swamp on a game day. What was it like? It was loud. It was loud. Like it got loud. So it got so loud at one point that I was just like closed my ears, like. Just cover my ears and then um there's a lot of people a lot of people and like, like it's like the bench seating so like everyone's on top of each other and like no one ever sits down so i, I had to like stand the whole game which is kind of terrible but then it's a great atmosphere because that's like really my first game just kind of like watching and uh and then my little brother was out there so it was just amazing to see what was the conversation with trevor etn after that game well, when he uh, seen me, he just started laughing because he knew what I was going to say about him just uh, letting go of the ball. But uh, I feel like I, I just really encouraged him. I feel like he's a true freshman. He just got there, and I feel like uh, you just got to encourage him, just let him know that he's working on the right path. And uh, just to see what he is in his career so early, uh, it's just very it's great to see, just see the, all the hard work he's put in and uh, great things to come. So I just told him, man, it's football. At the end of the day, it's just football. Just go out there and be yourself. Speaking of the other Trevor, the one on this
this roster. You've been around him for so long. What is it that he does that instills confidence in teammates? Like, what do you guys see from the sideline that, that give you the ultimate confidence in him? Uh, you never see him rattled. I feel like that's always a great trait you want in a leader. Uh, the scene could be shipping, but he's going to have that same smile, same, just, he's going to carry himself the same way. You could be drawn, but he's going to carry himself the same way. So I feel like you see that, you're like, okay, we good. Like, nothing to worry about. So it's easy to uh, follow somebody like that, and uh, that's what he has. What stands out for Washington on their defense? What's the X factor? What's the... I mean, I, I feel like you could, you could tell me that. You see those big guys right there. I set you up for the oh, I'm saying, you, you can tell me that. Uh, but nah, man, the trenches. I feel like that's what uh, football games are won, and uh, it's going to be a tough game. And uh, I just can't wait to go out there and play big boy football. I feel like this is what I'm waiting on my whole life. And uh, we have to make plays in between the tackles. And uh, man, oh, man, it's a big, big boy game. And uh, I'll get my first taste of it Sunday. How good of a combination can you and James be at running back? I feel like we could be as good as we want to be, honestly. Uh, we, we definitely complement each other games really well. I told James uh, I'm glad he's back. All the inside zones is his now. <laughs> nah, I was just joking with him, but nah, I feel like we want to complement each other really well. And uh, we, we, we have, like, James is a big, thick guy. I'm, I'm not that thick. So, and we, we're both, like, really great backs. Like, so there's no drop off when either one of us is in the game. And then we got packages where we can get in the game together. So. I uh, just put your playmakers on the field to make plays, and uh, they got to deal with us for four quarters, and uh, it's going to be exciting to see. Appreciate it, bro.